Hey guys, it's Scatterbrain013. And Potosa369. And we're going to be getting the bottles for the first level, Port Royal. This is the first one you get, and you need to put in this code if you do not have Blackbeard unlocked. And it's D3DW0D. You can put it in the extras menu. And what you want to do here is pull on this with a strong character, which is Blackbeard. And you'll find the first bottle right here at the top. Make sure you don't kill Jack Sparrow, though, because you'll move on to the next part. This next part is the jail, and you can use any character and jump up to the little chandeliers that have the fire, and you just have to hit all seven of them, and this is Scatterbrain jumping up and down <laughs> like a madman. I didn't know exactly where they were the first time we went through it. But this is this is how you do it. You can do it with both characters. Some of these are going to be with both of us playing, and some are going to be with just her. You do get an achievement for finishing a level with two people, so you might as well do it. Definitely. So that's the second one. Uh, the third one is going to be shooting all the skeleton characters down. Right. And this is a character you don't get until you finish the second level anyway, so you're obviously going to have to come back during free play. Yeah, his name's Marty, and he shoots out the explosives. And he can only he's the only character that can shoot through those really shiny objects. So far. So <laughs> far, yeah. There's other characters that can you eventually get, or if you have bombs, you can do it with bombs. Um, that's the dog. The dog can crawl through crawl through small places. So could Marty, but I wasn't thinking. <laughs> yeah, he can also do it, but oh well. doesn't matter. You have two dogs now. They're balling <laughs> out. But um, yeah, you want to get this, I guess it's a table or something? Bench. Bench. Okay, bench. And then <laughs> you put it right here, and it pops the lock sort of, or the door jam. Once you stand on it, and it unlocks the little two of the targets you have to shoot. So you shoot those. <laughs> and don't forget to rebuild them. That's the whole point. Yeah, you have to rebuild them. And it'll have a little number like out of four that pops up. And once you get all four, you get a bottle. I think there's ten per level. So, and they're usually you can get about three or four of them your first run. And then you have to go through with secondary characters like a strong character or one from the, uh, what's the name of the boat? The ship or whatever? The Flying Dutchman? Flying Dutchman, yeah. The Flying Dutchman people can walk underwater and go through ooey gooey stuff mm -hmm. in the walls. So the fourth skeleton you don't actually shoot down and it took me a minute to realize this. Yeah she was walking around <laughs> I was like it was over there and you're like no I don't think so and I was like yeah I think it was. <laughs> there he is just sitting in a corner. Yeah you just have to hit the bones. B button you hold it down and it rebuilds it just like all the other stuff. So that's the uh, third bottle. The fourth one is through this after you shoot it with explosives, and this one was kind of funny because Scatterbrain messed up a lot. <laughs> this one is really kind of difficult because you have to get your character in the exact right place and... Don't fall in the water. <laughs> <laughs> if you fall in the water, watch out. So we've kind of fast forwarded a lot of this, but um, you first thing you're going to want to do is shoot that target, which she did successfully. Yes. And then fell off again. <laughs> He falls backwards whenever yeah, he Yeah, when he fires his um, explosive thing, he falls over anyway. I couldn't grab the chain, so I gave up and let the shark e eat me. Yeah, and it's then easier. <laughs> after that, you have to go up here and push the plank. And she, she tried a couple times and couldn't push it. You have to get it exactly right. Yeah, so we finally got that done. And then you have to do this. Is it, This reminded me of Mario 64, because in that game, you could jump from wall to wall and stuff. But he's really slow. He's you have really to wait slow. till he hangs he from one hand, dangle like a weirdo. and then you can jump again. He's like, oh, I can't hold on. But anyway, he gets it eventually. And this one's probably the longest one we've had to do yet, the most difficult. It was. Yeah, you um rebuild this thing, which is sort of like a rock climbing wall, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. And you had to switch characters, right? Yes, you're going to have to switch to a girl for the... Yeah, the girls can jump lot farther in this game. They have a double jump ability, so anything that's really hard to get to, usually a girl will have to jump. And it has little flower things to let you know that you mm -hmm. have to use them. So they made it a little simplified to figure out what you had to do. This one took a second, too. It's like, <laughs> you oh. got to get over to the left and grab the bar up there. Yeah, the bar, pull it down with the girl, and it releases the uh, little panels. This is a lot like Mario, too, because I remember the first level of Mario, you had to do this. Let's see, and then you push the thing and look against the wall. You were going to slash it. You were going to tear it up. You were like, oh, I got this. There's the little flowers that tell you where to jump. Yeah. So you land on that and then you double, double jump. jump. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the fifth one. Um, oh. The next one's in the next area. You um jump up and you have to hit the blue flags. Blue flags. Three in this level. I, I got that one. Jack Sparrow. 
He runs around like a drunk person. <laughs> he does. Awesome. Then Lauren got this one. The next one is just you got to climb up the tall thing, get on the roof, and it's at the edge of the roof. Be careful, though. Don't fall off the roof. Yeah, it's a bad <laughs> call. I almost I didn't did. Even, I didn't even know this one was here. You were the one that found it each time we were playing. And then the, the third one's right here. <laughs> this one took a second. This is a girl you get in the second level, so... Yeah, Anna Maria, I think. This is actually a two-for-one bottle. She gets two here because there's another one hidden at the top. Yeah. You drop this net down with a girl, see mm -hmm. the flowers, and then you uh, try to make it in there. She, uh, <laughs> it's she tough. <laughs> fell a couple times, but you just have to jump back on and get up there. Uh, there's a guy that you have to kill, <laughs> but there's the first bottle that you get. Yep, just kind of sitting in there. Sitting in there, and then the next blue flag is right out this window. And be careful when you jump out the window. Yeah, you will you will destroy yourself. As soon as you jump yep. out, turn back around and grab onto the green thing. Yeah, that's what she did the second time successfully. Yes. Yeah, the first time not so much, but it's all good. It's all trial and error for me too. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not the most elegant, you know, try, but it's you know you gotta learn. There you go. Three done bottle. All right, so next bottle, you want to take this one? Um, out on the beach, you're going to find three little boats you have to put together on this beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, three on this beach. And, then, yeah, she did most of them. I was just kind of walking around like an idiot. See, when I moved my compass, I was like, hmm, what do we do here? <laughs> and then I put that one together. I was, hey, at least I contributed a little bit. Yeah, I was over smashing stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of smashing stuff. This is what this game is. Yeah. Anyway, with that, the fourth right. one and the fifth one are on this second area you get to. And she got those again as I walk around like a drunk person. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that run. That's the proest run ever. And then I got in the barrel. I was like, mm, do my own thing. <laughs> but there's the fifth one. She got that. There's the bottle. Pick up the bottle. <laughs> Gotta jump towards it, not away from it. Yeah. Next one was really frustrating when we tried to get it the first couple times. You have to use Jack's compass, which is the B button, you hold it down, and you f get the dog to dig up this uh, this pole, the pole pieces, mm -hmm. and you put them together, but to jump from pole to pole is kind of difficult. It's... I found that if you jump towards it, and if you're above it, you just let go of the forward button, and you'll land on it like a magnet, sort of. Mm -hmm. I think that's what how you ended up doing it really easily. But the first couple times we <laughs> tried this, it did not go it as well. Forever. It was pretty rough, yeah. But, of course, she picks the drunk character to jump across <laughs> the balls. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but the second time she gets it. Here we go. There it is. See, so yeah, it sort of, like latches you onto it that's that's a lot better you just gotta have patience yeah, for that part definitely next one you have to get marty again because he blows up those barrels anything shiny he can shoot and now you have to get the guy his sausage right so um you want to switch to this guy and there's a code we put at the bottom it's the captain of the flying dutchman not the flying dutchman yeah. the, the octopus, okay the octopus guy it's 4djlkr you put him in at extras and he can go through these little like I guess it's mushroomy, moldy stuff, or underwaters. Anemones? I guess something? so. I don't know what they are. But you sure. hit the B button. It took me a while to figure it out. But you suck through that and get excreted at the top, <laughs> wherever the other part is. And you just grab the sausage and go right through it. I thought I was going to lose the sausage when I went through there. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm going to have to go back up there again. But it didn't. And I successfully got it. Just give it to this guy, and he will run upstairs and spit out a bottle. Yep. He's all excited. He's like, yes, sausage. <laughs> and then there's the bottle. Okay. So the, uh, what? Don't forget to use your compass while you're over there because you get a gold sword. a lot sword. of stuff, yeah. The last one is going to be this crab that's in a cage down here, and you want to use the same guy again because he can walk underwater, and he gives you a bottle. You just jump up and grab it. And that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. That's Potosa and... Scatterbrain. See you later.